How do you derive the transfer function from the state model of a control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backward Jury community where I make jury easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. How do you derive the transfer function from the state model of a particular control system? Well, let's run out. So, let us consider a particular multi-input, multi-output system like this. So, in the case of a multi-input, multi-output system, we saw that there would be two input state variables, say, u1 of t and u2 of t. And then here, we will have two state variables, say, x1 of t and x2 of t. And then here, we would have two output variables, y1 of t and y2 of t. So, we saw for a fact that a state model is nothing but the combination of the output equation and the state equation. So, the state equation is given as x dash of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t. And the output equation is given as y of t is equal to c into x of t plus d into u of t. So now here, the transfer function is nothing but the output transformed by the input transform. That is the output divided by the input. So first, let us take the Laplace transform of equation number one. So taking the Laplace transform of equation number one, we would get the Laplace transform of x dash of t is given as x into x of s minus x of zero is equal to, here we have a into x of s plus b into u of s. So now here, let us take this particular x of s over here and this particular x of 0 over here. So now taking this over here, we would have x s into x of s minus a into x of s is equal to b into u of s plus x of 0. Here we have x of s common. So taking x of s common, we have x of s into, here because all these are matrices, here this s must be multiplied with the identity matrix that is 1, 0, 0, 1. So it is written as s into this, which is nothing but s, 0, 0, s. So here, in order to get it at this form, we would write x of s into here, s into i s into i, which is this, s into i minus a. This is equal to here b into u of s plus x of 0. So now we have to get the value of x of s. So x of s is simply but this b into u of s into this particular term, which is si minus a, the whole inverse plus x of 0 into this thing, that is si minus a, the whole inverse. So this is the value of x of s. So now we have to find the transfer function. So here, now let us take the Laplace transform of this particular equation for that. Laplace transform of equation number 2. So upon taking the Laplace transform of equation number 2, we would get y of s is equal to here c into x of s plus d into u of s. c into x of s plus d into u of s. So now here, this value of x of s is what we have derived over here. Substituting this value of x of s over here, we would now get y of s is equal to c into this particular entire thing, that is b u of s into si minus a, the whole inverse, plus x of 0 into si minus a, the whole inverse. So c into x of s plus d into u of s. But the transfer function happens when x of 0 is equal to 0. So here, putting the value of x of 0 is equal to 0, this term vanishes away. So we would get y of s is equal to c into b into u of s into si minus a, the whole inverse plus d into u of s. 
So here we have u of s, here also we have u of s. So here we have y of s is equal to u of s multiplied by here c into s i minus a the whole inverse into b plus d. So now the transfer function is nothing but the output transform by the input transform that is the transfer output transform by the input transform. So the transform of this is y of s and the transform of this is u of s. So the transfer function becomes y of s divided by u of s which is simply but c into s i minus a the whole inverse into b plus d. This is simply the transfer function of a state model. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. This is simply how you derive the transfer function from the state model of a particular control system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can derive the transfer function from the state model of a particular control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.